Well, the players are out on the table. The fans are certainly ready. Before we get this opening team match underway, though, let's hear from the captains of both Team USA and Team Europe. They're speaking to our reporter, Ashley Wilmot. Thanks, Hannah. Yes, I'm here with Team USA's Jeremy Jones. Hi, Jeremy, how are you? I'm great. Good to have you here and alongside me as well. Welcome to the Moscone Cup, Ralph Eckert. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good to have you both alongside me. Now, Jeremy, I'm going to come to you first. You've won the Moscone Cup five times as a player, but not quite yet as the captain. What's different about this year? Why are you going to get the win? Well, the first difference is Feder Gorst. I mean, as simple as that. And, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> she asked the question, you know? So, uh, um, yeah, I think the camaraderie between the team, uh, I think the, the other four looking at Fetter and the situation, um, I think we got a great rookie, um, Skylar Woodward, SVB, and uh, I, I believe Fetter's going to play great, and I think Tyler's in his best form ever, so I really love our team. Are you feeling confident this year? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Very we like that. We like a confident USA team. Now, have you got any fighting talk for Team Europe? I'm sorry? Any fighting talk? Words of... Words for your op opposition tonight? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> now, Ralph, welcome to the Moscone Cup. How did it feel walking out into this arena, arena celebrating the 30th anniversary in Star and having you here? Well, it's a great feeling. Thank you for having me, and thank you for everyone coming by. So <laughs> You've got a lot of support in the building. How much will that give you a boost tonight? Say it again. How much will the crowd give you that boost? Oh, it's nice. It sounds like they sold more European tickets nowadays, don't they? <laughs> it does sound that way, doesn't it? <laughs> now, you've had your first team chat behind the scenes. What were your words of wisdom tonight for the team? <laughs> well, they know their job. They know how to run the balls even better than me. And uh, they are going for it ball by ball. And that's the secret. That's all. They've definitely got their game faces on this evening. Now, do you just have a quick word for all your fans in the building tonight and watching on Sky Sports? Well, we are going to win smooth and gentle. Even Team America is going to join that. Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Now, with that, I'd like a handshake for the captains. Best of luck to both teams. Let's get the Moscone Cup underway. <laughs> Oh, handshakes all around, that is for sure. We are so pumped ahead of this opening team match. In the commentary box, we've got Carl Boys and Phil Yates. And if I may steal a line from Jeremy Jones, Phil, let's go. Absolutely, absolutely right, yeah. What an atmosphere here. You know, we're in Alexandra Palace, which this year celebrates its 150th anniversary. Back then, the monarch was Queen Victoria, President of the United States, was Ulysses S. Grant. A lot has changed since then. And I'll tell you what, in the ensuing 150 years since this place opened, has this venue seen anything quite like this? I would doubt it. What an atmosphere, what a match. Let us go. You've been involved in many a Moscone Cup as a hero on the table, as a vice captain, and now behind the microphone. The atmosphere here is genuinely second to none. There's nothing like it, Phil. There is nothing like it. There really isn't. And this first point, the team point that we always start the Moscone Cup off with, is terrifying. SVB has a long shot on the two. They see the red three over to the left. This is not easy. And here we go, Phil. This is what Team America have got to put up with. You've got to blank it out. Focus on your shot. I'll say it now, though, Carl, before I'm accused of jumping on a bandwagon. The odds, 2-7 to seven Europe, 5-2 to two the USA. I'm going to make no predictions, but the value there for me, undoubtedly in a two-horse race, the Americans. Oh. 
This is a good start from SVB. This is his 17th appearance, Phil. Only three wins. He's looked a little shaky over the years, it's fair to say. One of the greatest to ever grace the nine ball pool table. No mean two shots though. So far, so good. This is what nine ball's about though. The rack is never over. If you're tuning in for the first time, you just simply have to pot the lowest number of ball on the table. Shane's now on the green six. If he pots this one, Phil, and gets on the seven, USA look good for the first rack. Good to see Shane smiling, though, in previous years where he struggled. Maybe he's been a little serious at the table. Yeah, been on three winning teams, smiled maybe twice. Oh, he's hit that sweet. Perfect line there. Cue balls run a little far. But day one, I'm sure if you're familiar to the World Nine Ball Tour, you hear us in the booth talk about this a lot, the slide of the pocket. As long as it's the rail, this ball will go. Oh, he looks good, SVB. This is a brilliant start. We're in the borough of Haringey famous for greyhounds and this is like a ground out of the trap didn't have much angle to work with there phil so he's done okay just give yourself a shot on the bumblebee the golden nine as we call it this for the opening rack and a break and run Extension, please. Well, is this a sign of things to come? He's looked so good in the rack. Jason Shaw steps up. One of the best potters we've ever seen. Cue balls near the rail. Has that set the tone? What a rack! Van Boning did all the work. Apart from the imperative, potting the nine ball, the name of the game, he failed, Shaw delivered. The history of the this team rank. match is extraordinary. Team Europe, it's been so tight over Leading the by years. One rack to nil. But Europe are due to win one. USA have won the last four team matches to launch the last four Moscow kneecaps. That was a good break. From the world number one, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. This is why he's won so much on the tour, Phil, because he's been making the yellow one ball in that side pocket consistently. There's another look. Blue two looks to be safe, though. It's funny in the Moscone Cup, Phil, where it's all about momentum. You know, now Ruiz comes to the table. Even though he's not had a shot, he just feels a lot more confident now because of the first rack. That's just what happens. FSR hoping there isn't a gap through to the two, but there you can see clearly that there certainly is. Just going to try and send the two ball round the table. Hold the cue ball there. He's lost the cue ball. Though. Two ball needs to slow down. Going to leave a pot. I'll tell you what, Carl, this mass on table is playing so reactive, so fast.
Yeah, these TV tables, the, the way the, the fitters set these tables up and the heat of the lights. Purple five ball in this rack could cause Europe problems. He's on the red three, then it's the pink four. Yeah, there you go, Phil. As you said, just overrun. Didn't play for it in this pocket. The extension, please. Yeah, couldn't get on the purple five. So Woodward looks like he's going to get back out of his seat. But he may be in a bad spot. Safety side of nine ball is very underrated. This is where it wins you a lot of racks. the shot Woodward is going to be faced with Sanchez has done a fine job there someone had the temerity in the crowd to say boring mm, yeah who agrees with that he's the in a minority please. of one If he hits it full in the face, he has got a chance of a jump bank shot into the bottom left. Got to be careful of the scratch, though, into the top right corner. Cue ball may grab too quick. Overall, he will be delighted where the purple five has finished. That might just get him back to the table again in this rack. Plenty of balls to potentially hide behind. Yeah, Doesn't get the cover, but he does get the safety. That's all Skyler could do. He was trying to come down the left side of the nine, so he didn't quite get the line right. But we often say in the Moscone Cup, you've got to try and keep the safeties very, very simple, especially on day one. Can Skyler see a piece of this? He's having a look. Oh, he's got the short cue. He's going airborne. Where's the cue ball? Now a tester, but if it goes in, what rewards it could yield? Yeah.
Yeah, this is not easy. The world number one. It's his turn to look a little shaky. And I've noticed that over the course of this year in plenty of other tournaments. From distance, if he does miss, quite often it's because he overcuts, as he did there. Well, talking of not easy, this is throat with danger. He's had a look at the potting angle. He's going to have to slightly jack down on the cue ball because he's got to get on the green six next. Yeah, that was always going to be difficult. You're asking a lot out yourself to pull that shot out. Where's the cue ball finished? Again, there's still a little bit of distance here, Phil. This is turning into a fantastic little rack. Yeah, not in terms of standard, but certainly in terms of drama and maybe in terms of consequence. So much smoother, but look at the cue ball just travelling on and on. This table is so fast. I'll repeat myself. Yeah, and on that previous shot, you can be forgiven to kind of get a little relaxed with the cue ball. You're putting so much emphasis on the pot. Oh, this is a shocker. This is a shocker. What has he done there? The double kiss scratch and has sent Woodward up to tie the match up. It looks as though the last two World Nine Ball champions have both been guilty of a faux pas that's cost them the rack. Two and a half weeks to Christmas, but the first gift. <laughs> Handed out by Europe. The double kiss scratch, and with that, USA are back on level terms. Joshua Fuller up against Tyler Steyer in a replay of that closing match from 12 months ago. Very good break. As we see the one ball disappear. Doesn't look like he's going to be left with a shot on the blue too. After the break shot. In nine ball, you can play what we call a push out. So you could just touch the cue ball where it is. You can roll it any way you want. But after that shot, the incoming player can play the shot or hand it back. This is also allowed, Phil. You know, Tyler getting a I little bit of help from SVP. Maybe after the opening rack, he's called the wrong player up to the table. Well, these two players, of course, will be contesting the first doubles match at the end of this contest. Yeah, and I believe Tyler was looking at playing the push. SVB has talked him out a bit. What's he spotted here? Where's the nine? Oh, I'm sorry. going close.
The extension, please. It's an absolutely terrific atmosphere here. It's full of electricity, but also very respectful when the players are on their shots. Oh, Little oh, surprise he decides to take on the pot. So just so early on, you know, it's his first visit to the table. And so we know the talent that man brings. One of the greatest to ever do, but this, they look at that, how thin that was. That was asking a lot. Now Tyler, with ball in hand. One shot anywhere on the table. If he was practicing at home in Wisconsin, he would fully expect to dish up. This, though, a very different proposition. These chances are the chances for me where over the years USA have just simply not really been taking them. So this is a big moment coming up here in this team point. and easily can play three or four maybe not so Marcel Eckhart the referee eagle eyed making sure there's no contact between the Steyer's shirt and the Brown seven ball just wants to be careful he's been a little naive there just because Getting a bigger angle would have made life a lot easier. Still has a little bit of angle, but may have to play this a little bit harder now. Played that very well. Played it very well indeed. Potter nine ball. It's the early skirmishes. We shouldn't get carried away. Right now, though, after two scratches, cost Europe dear. The USA have hit the front in match one. They lead 2 1. Humble beginnings for the Moscone Cup in the mid 90s. There's nothing humble about this event now. It is a truly world class gathering. And this is match one, which has already produced some unexpected twists and turns. This event in 2006. Total racks for the two sides 74 for Europe, 74 for the USA. Could not be tighter. Good break from the Rocky Phil. Very good break. He's got a look at the two. There's no doubt Shane Walford is the big question mark. Of all the players, obviously he's got the, the fact that experience is against him, experience in the Moscone Cup. And also, his individual record is not as outstanding as the other nine players on display. But that's not the say call. He 
Hogg's not very handy with the cue. He's a really talented sort. Yeah, and there's something about the Moscone Cup where it always feels right when there's a, a rookie in one of the teams. But the rookies for America, you know, over the last few years, they've really struggled. This looks okay. Yeah, they've struggled, they've come into the team, they've made mistakes, they've lost points, they've missed easy balls. So we're becoming a bit accustomed to this, but can Wolford step up to the plate? Could he be the new kid on the block for USA? Well, the nine was in motion, Cole, but look where the cue ball is now. Yeah, just lost the cue ball a little bit. He was just trying to bump yeah, off yeah. the nine. Now, this is horrible. It really is, because it looks like if he pops the purple five, cue ball's going to be going into the six. Tough to see if he would scratch off the six in the side. This is a tough pot. Tell you what, great pot in the middle. A little bit unlucky, could have gone anywhere. Look at this, this is, this is as tough a pot as you may be faced with. Is he gonna go for the thin cut? I'll tell you what, he's looking like the, the best player out there, Phil. This has been brilliant, back-to-back, -back, superb pots. How tight is this seven ball past the eight? If he's got a full pocket, he'll feel okay. That's what he's faced with. This is the big shot. If he gets this one right... Some great shots in that rack, though. Got to just sit back in his chair and still take a lot of positivities out of that one. You thought it was in the stars. He was going to clear the table there to make an extraordinary introduction. David Alcade, he's playing the bank shot. Remember the famous bank shot in the Masters, Phil? Alexander Kazakis does, and now so will Shane Walford. He's banked to win the Masters was length of the table. That one, much more standard. needs to keep traveling and it does that is more than okay Spoken man. Okay, then, so five racks gone. The cycle begins once more. Good break. Going to be faced with mid to range two ball. Three balls sat in open space as well. Purple five will go in the bottom right corner. But this is a tester. You might be watching thinking, what do I mean it's a tester? It's an easy shot. It's a tester and you've got two and a half thousand people in here. Yeah. 
He's played a lot of good cups as Jason. He's won MVP as well twice, but he has missed the odd ball in certain cups. A little bit of body movement there as well. Thought for a moment he might have caught the bump of the middle pocket, but he avoided that. It's Shane Van Boning and plays a very good safety. Yeah, what a brilliant safety shot that was. Had to get so close to the side pocket. So both teams already have taken their extension in this rack. It's a 30-second shot clock, and one extension is allowed per player, per rack. That will be in operation from start to finish. He's got 20-odd seconds to get himself ready for this. Didn't have the bottom of the jump cue ready, so he's had to put that on the cue. A lot of distance. He's got to get the cue ball over the red three as well. Missed it. Where's it going to finish? Is he going to get lucky? He isn't. SVB with a chance. gone wrong I thought he may have been tempted to play for the red three in left center nothing for short there now he's got to get the cue ball moving unless he can get through the gap between the nine and the seven he couldn't so he played a bit of a chick shot banana the cue ball SVB getting angry with himself there Wants to play well in this year's Cup. This is his 17th appearance. That is a fantastic achievement. I spoke to him earlier today, Phil, in a bit of a preview that we did, and he feels like he's learnt so much over the years and the defeats that he's had in the team. He feels he's grown different as a player in the Moscone Cup. And for him, defeats hurt because he's not used to them. He's won so much. Owned the, Mo the US Open for a while, but Moscone Cup wise, not so successful. I cannot believe it. In rack one, it was the nine ball to the same pocket. Trickled this time. It's the seven that stays on the table. Yep, yeah, he sat there thinking, what have I done? I've had two glorious chances in my racks. I've made a mess of them both. this contest.
dry break. So Ruiz comes to the table. You can see the one ball. He can actually pot it in the bottom left corner, but that is that is a very tough shot. How big is this team point now? Because if Europe go on to win it, SVB's got to come out next, Phil. He's not going to be feeling good at all. And as I said before, the last four years, from 2019 onwards, 5-1, 5-3, 5-2, 5-3 in the team match to USA. Maybe they won't make that same flying start this time. But in the Moscone call, no one, even the world number one, is immune to pressure. He yeah, didn't even get close to the pocket there. Look how far he missed this by. Didn't even hit the jaw. This man here at the table for USA, Skylar Woodward. He's been the player over the last few years, has, has been really the only player who's really took it to Team Europe for me. Landed a little straight here, so we're going to see a bit of cue power here. Got to draw the cue ball all the way back off the top rail. That was a beauty. The crowd appreciate that one. That's what USA have got to do. The European fans will acknowledge good pool. Lives in Texas these days, but he's from Kentucky. He's known as the Bluegrass Badass. He'd like to be the villain here for this European team. You need a certain mentality, my co-commentator, Carl Boys, possessed it. And so does Woodward. It's actually very simple, Phil, isn't it? It's when you get these opportunities here, you just simply have to clear the table. The reason why often we don't is lack of cue ball control. Or sometimes just a silly miss, as we've seen from Shane Van Bonen. Skyler probably got a bit too much into the cue ball there. Just walk round the table there, eyeing up playing the eight ball into the bottom left corner. Could try and stun him behind it off two rails as well. Played the one. So he'll be playing for the nine ball in the same pocket as this eight. Good thing is, if he pots the ball, Phil, the cue ball will come off one rail over to the right side of the table. Big shot coming up. This is what he's been doing over the years, though, in the Moscone Cup. He's been the main man for USA. Back against the wall. And he's won two racks in this opening contest. Do not write the Americans off just yet. Is he going to get a shot on the two? He isn't. Looked like he was going to at first. This is what he's faced with after the break. 
So Joshua will call the push out. You always have to tell the referee. Push out, Because if you don't, it's a foul for What this means is Joshua can roll the cue ball anywhere on the table. He can hit a ball, he can pot a ball, but the big thing is when his opponent comes to the table, he'll play the shot or pass it back. So Tyler Steyer steps up. He's got the option, play or pass. Looks like he's going to step up and play this one. Two ball needs to settle down here, otherwise Filler will have a thin cut. He was trying to slide the cue ball past the five on the right hand side. So that's a misjudgment. Filler scratched in the only shot he had earlier in this team point. And it was on the blue two. It was on the blue two, Phil! Two scratches for Joshua Filler. The only difference, he missed the first. There, it went straight in, but so did Whitey. Tyler had ball in hand against Filler not that long ago and he cleared the table. Can he do it again to force a hill hill in the opening point, Phil? Last time the team match went the distance. It was right here, Alexandra Palace 2018. For what it's worth, Europe won 5 4. I think he's got to go forward off two rails here. He's got to use that top rail. Otherwise, he's not going to get the cue ball out far enough. Well, he's going low. He's got other ideas. Yeah, I think he's going to go below the nine ball now. Oh, well, the green six goes in the same pocket as the purple five. He could also use to... He could also choose to play this ball a bit harder and play for the green six in the bottom left. How's the speed? Speed looks nice. Good shot. Needs the right angle on the brown seven. If he gets the perfect angle on that ball, getting on the eight balls easy. Tyler Steyer will be SVB's playing partner in the very next point. That's okay. Just make sure you get the cue ball back past the side pocket. He's looking good, Tyler Steyer, Phil, and if he pots this nine ball, guess who's coming up to play the Hill Hill Rack? Yeah. 
Nothing is a certainty in the Moscone Cup apart from drama. And it started right away here. Jeremy Jones, the USA captain. Can Fedor Gorsh return the compliment and have a golden break himself as the booze rain down? The fans providing their own caustic commentary. Fedor Gorst knew this was coming. It's all about what he does on the table. Thin cut on the blue two. Safety on the red three. Q-Ball's going to be spinning round the table, try and use the nine and the purple five as a blocker. That should leave an easy kick. You've got to kick and get safe. The extension, please. Is this a recurring tactic? Shane Van Boning, the great shot maker, coming in to advise yeah smart move very smart he could use one rail he could use the one rail has he left a little edge just how big is this point now Phil incredible Extension, please. <laughs> Alvin Ocean, in many people's eyes, regarded as one of the best safety players on the circuit. Not many pool players outclass him in that department. He's left the gap. Unfortunate there, that is a horrible lead for Europe. Had to take the bank on though. I think Albin's going to be faced with having to play an attacking shot here. Is, is he going to play the three into the rail and then try and combo the six? Can he play off the left edge and avoid the double kiss? Leave the three on the top rail. I think he can, you know. Yeah, it's a good shot. Very good shot. That was not easy. Had to play with left English to avoid the double hit. In his youth, Alvin Ausham was known for getting extremely hot under the collar. These days, as he's shown time and time again, he's the personification of cool. Kicking near the side pocket. Got to be careful, the scratch in behind it. Good hit. But it's Europe, it's Albin Ocean with a chance after the wonderful safety shot. 
He has got an open table to win the first point. Former Moscone Cup MVP. This time selected as a wild card by Ralph Eckert. Will that selection start to be vindicated right here? Quite a steep angle here. So if he's going to play for the purple five in the bottom right corner, he's going to have to time this nicely. He's got to get the cue ball slowing down. Played for it in the same pocket. And that bounce off the rail will help him out nicely here. It's been a year largely filled with disappointment for Albin Ocean. He's a winner who's been losing. Look at this, Team USA have potted 50 balls in this match compared with 20 for Europe, and yet it could all amount to nothing. But the big stat will be how many chances and how many balls USA have missed in this opening team point. This is it.